Salute to Knicks Nation on this Wednesday evening. Another edition of Knicks Post Game Live, home of the diehard Knicks fan. The number one show for the fans by the fans. Number one Knicks podcast for the fans by the fans. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and subscribe to the channel. Tonight was the second half of a back-to-back, a home-and-home against our new rivals, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland Cavaliers out for revenge. Once again, shorthanded. No Allen, no Garland, but it was no problem because Donovan Mitchell would not let his team be denied. And for the New York Knicks, it was New York bricks time. Couldn't hit the broad side of a barn. No R.J. Barrett tonight. Big problem as Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson combine for 11 for 38 from the field. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all you really need to know. 95 to 89, Knicks failed to break 90 and look pretty bad in front of their home crowd and uh, failed to to, uh, to put this Cavs team away, man. Missed opportunity, and Knicks are going to be soul-searching once again, man. This- <sighs> I am frustrated, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's more frustrating, the fact that you had to read that. Brunson and Randall go 11 for 11 38. From for the field. 38. Or the fact that Tom Thibodeau relies on a rotation in the third quarter where the Cavs are just handing this game on a silver platter. It's like Donovan Mitchell scoreless in the third quarter. Scoreless. Yeah. Goes nuclear in the first in the first half. Scoreless in the second in the in the third quarter. You're telling me with our two top guns with everybody out there, we can't take advantage. You're telling me Tom Thibodeau on on that on that sideline is looking at this, be like, mm, yeah, we are just dwindling the clock. But you know what? I'm going to keep with the same lineup out there, even though we are struggling to shoot from the field. Man, I am just aggravated. And then to to make matters worse, it looks like Julius Randle. I tweeted this out. It looks like he was sleepwalking tonight, man. I, I sleep like we're. Where where was the awareness? The one that really got to me was the the rebound in the third or the fourth quarter where he had he had it, legit had it, yeah. and then it's just like nope, oh, gone. Back to the Cavs. I'm like, dude, yeah, you are. You, what happened? What what happened tonight? Where you were you were they were legit CP given a chance. The Cavs were puking on themselves. Yeah, and the Knicks couldn't do it. They could not do it whatsoever. They they, they they couldn't hit the broad side of a barn, bricking left and right. No shooters out there. No confidence. I think Randall is still passing up threes out there in practice with the lights off. Um, how about, you know, 34% from the field, 16% from downtown, and 66% from the charity stripe. How woeful. I mean, they might go down as the worst free, three, free throw shooting team in the history of the league. Dude. For the team that gets there so much. Dude, and speaking about gain there so much, that's the one thing I got to say. Like, for Julius Rand- this is how bad it was. He figured it out against the Cavs yesterday, right? It's like, you know what? I'm going to bully ball, get into the paint, get to the line. How many free throws did he take tonight, CP? How many free throws? Zero. Zero. None. Zilch. One big fat donut. Come on, man. Like he's he's going in there and he's t- he's doing fadeaway shots like what what what's what like what look I know it I, it might be the Skechers bro it might it be might, the Skechers <laughs> it might be it might the, be S. the Skechers it go might back be the to S. the Kobe's go back yeah. to the Kobe's yeah. I know they gave you the bag but good God man if you need to go back to Nike please do whatever mm. you got to do man because this ain't it Mikel Wells in the chat CP and Randall got the same shooting coach I'll mm. allow that one tonight <laughs> I, I don't. I won't even counter with anything. I'll allow that one tonight because yeah. it was brutal, man. Absolutely brutal. Look, that is the only thing you need to know in this game. Brunson, Randall, 11 for 38 from the field. Team shot 34% from the field, 16% from downtown, and 66% from the charity strike. Where on there do you, do you see wins? Yeah, man, this. I, I'm calling in because this roster is trash, man. This ain't gonna work, man. Mm. We too small to like to really make anything happen against any of the good teams. Like I, I looked at one lineup. We have Josh Hart out there, IQ, Devin Chenso, 
and McBride, like, like, come on, man, who who you playing with with that? Like, you know what I'm saying? And Alex, you touched on it, um, on the on, after the last game when you playing against like we were playing against the Celtics. Yeah, it's all good when you got small ball lineups and they skilled players, but when you playing against a pick and roll six eight Tatum with the ball handler and Porzingis, you know what I'm saying? What you gonna do with that? You gonna guard that with Josh Hart or Grimes? Like, come on, man. We needed to get more length on the perimeter and more athleticism. We got smaller. Yeah. Like, we ain't going to beat nobody good with this roster, yo, and it's crazy. Like, it's been like this for years when they they got R.J. at the three. R.J. really a two. And then you got you got Grimes playing against the elite. All they doing is taking them to the post fade or taking them to the midi and shooting over the top. This shit get ugly, like, and it's going to yeah. only get worse. Like, But, you know – we, yo, they really need to make a trade. Like, like, I'll take anybody at this point. Give me the kid from New Orleans, Herb Williams. They just signed him off for, what, four years or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get somebody in here who could really make a difference. Like, I want to know the stats. Like, how many dunks we had in this game that wasn't a fast break? Like, we don't even get dunks in the half court. Like, yeah. a team, man, we too small. Like, and it ain't going to work. Like, but, you know, Alex, you was talking about it. CP, you see it. But, you know what I mean, it's, it's getting to the point where, you know, we're not going to beat nobody good playing like this. Let me show up. That's my guy, Dion. And he's getting a lot of fives in the chat. That might be the, that might be uh, in the run-ins for the call of the night. <clears throat> hey, man. We haven't played. <laughs> we haven't played the Bucks yet. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even played them yet. I haven't played them. Like I said, they're going to be coming out fired you know, up. You know what's going to be more annoying, CP? Yeah. Uh, when we play Toronto and they match up well against us because they also have wingspan. Julius Randle has a Russell Westbrook problem. Mm. You know, when, when the system is built around him to play an ISO half court, he can get you the stats, points, rebounds, assists. But because they both have limited ball handling skills and they're not really good shooters, whenever they have to play with other playmakers, they become a shell of themselves. You know, they don't give you, they can't catch and shoot. And as the game gets a lot faster, they can't play fast on ball because that's a turnover. They don't really do much off ball because their IQ is extremely low. And again, they can't catch and shoot, you know, so it takes, it takes a smart coach. They don't have to be useless, but it takes a smart coach to make the right adjustments to get the best out of them. But the problem is our coach, Tom Thibodeau is the Russell Westbrook of coaches, you know, so he can, (laughs) he can get you so far. He can, he can get the team to play hard. He can squeeze a lot of juice out of an orange, but he can't get you there. Mm. You know, so we're going to keep going. We're going to keep bumping into the same wall. This is why, you know, whenever Knicks fans get extremely excited when we're doing well, those who are really watching the game, looking at the numbers, we're never really convinced that the Knicks are that convincing. Correct. Because when you, look at the, when you look at the stats, when you look at the ball movement, ISO, it's just not good. You know, so we do well in the regular season, and then we get to the postseason and real defenses show up. And that's when you start hearing, you know, Randall is not showing up in the playoffs. No, Randall is showing up in the playoffs. He's just showing up against real defenses who know exactly how to suffocate our offense. You know, so I think that's the main problem. I've been in support of Julius Randle this whole time because his, his you know, his, his, his pay is really, really good for the production he does. But I think it might be time to consider because we're just going to keep bumping into walls. So it's either we switch him out and bring him off the bench, let RJ start because it's a little bit better ball movement wise, mm-hmm. but he's not going to come off the bench, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. So we've got to figure out something. But this coach and this player, and this style of play, this modern game, is just not going to work. We're going to keep running into the same problem. And I can't truly blame Julius Randle that much because the coach is not helping him get out of his own way. Okay. Mm. There we go, man. Um, see you Friday, bro. Great show. Great show, TM. Great show, Gamble. Great show, CK. Great show, Chuck. Great show, Lloyd Banks. Great show, all the mods, all the franchise channel members. We'll see you on Friday. Peace.